I'm fascinated by the abilities of stem cells. There are somatic stem cells, the stem cells in the adult body, that make sure our organs are able to operate and retain their functionality. There are also stem cells that occur early in embryonic development, the pluripotent stem cells. They excite me the most because they're simply capable of anything. Hans Schuller has been focusing his attention on the biological big picture right down to the molecular detail of stem cells for his entire research career, spanning more than 35 years. The director of the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Biomedicine discovered a crucial gene for cell reprogramming, OCT4, early in his career, for which he gained international acclaim and recognition. For several years now, Schurla and his team have focused their basic research efforts on cerebral organoids. Organoids are three-dimensional cell bodies, isolated in a petri dish, that effectively reconstruct the first steps in an organ's development. When properly cultivated, they can last for several months, growing to the size of a pea and developing into different cell types. Although sometimes falsely referred to as mini-brains in popular science, organoids on their own are neither viable nor capable of thought. They represent an ideal means for observing steps in human biological development and understanding the processes at play, including pathological processes that lead to the development of various diseases. Dieses Wissen. We need this knowledge in order to apply things. And to quote Max Planck, insight must precede application. That is the Max Planck Society's motto. Unlike organisms, organoids grow all higgledy-piggledy. They go absolutely wild. They each have different structures. So you can't compare one organoid to another. It is with this in mind that Hans Schuller and his team have developed an organoid robot. Just like a machine in an assembly line, this machine follows a standardized process to produce small, almost identical cerebral organoids. With these trillions of organoids, you can examine trillions of substances. Having this standard to work from means that we can make statements. In our work, we're focusing on so-called midbrain organoids, which are important for Parkinson's research. These midbrain organoids allow the researchers to examine how the organoid cells react to different substances so that they can develop novel therapies for neurological diseases, such as Parkinson's. Yet Hans Schürler's vision for the future extends even further. When I look at stem cell therapy and think about the path it might take in the future, I think about older people. We're always growing older. Unfortunately, I'm growing older too, as you can see. But if we were able to form the stem cells that our bodies lose as our muscle cells grow weaker and weaker, if we were able to win back these stem cells, I think that would help older people remain functional for as long as possible and have a better quality of life. So that's what drives me.